Hey guys, Falcon197 here, and I am back to bring you more of my Let's Play of Halo Combat Evolved. When we last left off, we had just completed the library on Legendary, much to the dismay of the Flood, who were attempting to overwhelm us with their numbers. But we are moving back into, into the campaign on Heroic, and starting off on a new level, Two Betrayals. And we should be beginning in the control room. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Never trust the light bulb. Especially not the singing ones. Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. supposed to happen. Oh, really? Cortana. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Oh. No. Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood. Which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? I'll... Do what? I have the Index. You can just float and sputter. <laughs> Enough! The Flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. Gasp. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. I second Last that. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. Not gonna happen. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Save my head. We'll see about that. Look out! Take my head? Come on, you bastards. Four for four. Try that on. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. Huh. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical. Oh, still, you son of a bitch. 
I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. Get on the ground! I'm clutching this with a one bar. You're next! You son of a bitch! Alright, so the goal is relatively simple. We have to fight our way back out of the control center and find a way to destroy the ring. While fighting Covenant and Sentinels. And possibly Flood. And I'm invisible behind this barrier. Alright, now if I remember correctly, there should be a red elite waiting right there. Yup. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the Monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. Now that Cortana is finished yammering, I can say a couple of things. First of all, I remembered uh, from the last time playing this mission that there is a weapons cache up at these ramps. And that the sniper rifle comes in extraordinarily handy. For this mission at least for the first part there's not a whole lot of ammo we have to work with so that should scatter him knock down mr red elite all right the second thing is if you guys remember i kited a couple of times first part of this mission, coming in on the assault on the control room, and I intend to do that again. So rather than cut down these ramps on every single level, I'm just going to jump right down here. Right down here, and grab a few toys. Wait, we should commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. Come on, Mr. Red Elite. Where's your buddy, the gold guy? There he is. And there he goes. I hear a tank. There we go. Get that tank dead. That should open a hole for us, so... <clears throat> Sniper rifle's done. Go back to the shoddy. If I'm not mistaken, there may be a few extra goodies down here. Nope. 
a lot of angry guys. That's clear. All right. Let's get the Banshee and go. Good. Let's get moving. The nav point marks our target. These are those platforms that were inaccessible during the first time we played this mission. I'm sorry, were you doing something? Okay, so this is the first of three generators that we have to disable in order to shut down Halo's weapon system. That's the pulse generator. The center core is the signal amplifier. That's what we need to shut down. We need to interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator, but you'll need to walk into the beam to trigger it. That sounds the EMP safe. blast should neutralize the generator, but it will also drain your shields and leave you vulnerable until they recharge. That sounds completely safe. Let's go fry our brains. Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. Ah, sentinels. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. The second pulse generator is located in the adjacent canyon. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. Alright, now who's gonna come out of this door? A grunt with a fuel rod. Cute. Ha 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 Alright, I should be thankful for that grunt because... Head through that door. That's the way to the next canyon. He dropped his fuel rod and so that detonated and killed the other elites that were coming out. Clean up some of these idiots. Oh, two elites. Hmm. So much for that. Everything's easier when you have air power on your side. Before I leave, though, I feel compelled to go exploring in this place because first playthrough of this mission, uh, or this area I should say, I never took the time to go down here, uh, and I remember there being a huge weapons cache, so I'm going to go check this place out. Nada. Nada. Oh well, now we know. That's the way to the next canyon. Running a little tight on rocket ammo, but we'll make it work. Wow. You saw nothing. <laughs> Surprise! Readily, no problem. So that's two things we have that make life easier. Aircraft and buckshot. Although I've got to use it sparingly because... Well, we're about to have bigger problems. You got one shot. Better make it count. And you failed. Yes, you. Oh. 
sit. Oh. Well, looks like our problems just got more numerous. A lot more numerous. A lot more undead. Come on, guys. I don't have time for this. I warned you. Really? My patience is running low. Who's left? Be my messenger. Red Elites. You guys destroyed the grenade stash I was hoping to pick up. This mission is hard. In some ways, it's even harder than the library. Because you've got a wide assortment of enemies instead of just one kind that you can really uh, demolish with a specific loadout. We're literally fighting every single kind of enemy in the game. We've got Covenant, we've got Flood, and we've got Sentinels. All of which are competing to kill us. For different reasons. Alright, we're back on the double bridges now. Let's see. Well, and it looks like that door off the side is sealed, so we can't use the bridge jumping glitch this time. Looks like we're doing this the hard way. Come on. No. No. rare that I have to take cover in this game. One rocket left. Oh, lovely. Coming for a visit. coming for you guys soon enough. Alright. Let's see what's in this room. Flood. Lots of them. Shotgunners. There's two down. Three down. Four. Five. Not 
flanking me. See, flood shotguns are a good thing and a bad thing because they give you ammo, but they can just chew through your shields. Is there anything useful up here? Nope. There's a lot of these little bulbous freaks. Okay, I recognize that sound anywhere. One of those flood has a rocket. Will you get off me? Well, I guess I'm playing this tactically. And he's down! Trading one rocket, hopefully for two or more. Yeah. Oh, more carriers. Probably about a third of this playthrough is just going to be footage of me whacking these little bastards. Give me that health pack. And give me that ammo. Why not? Alright, time to go. Look at this. I guess I can just stay there and chill for all I care. I'm out of here. So we're back on the bridge. Got a banshee circling. We got two banshees circling. Damn it. These guys will do that crap. But here's an idea. Friggin' Covenant. Bastard. Engage the flood, not me. I'm gonna wait before I blow this guy up because he's standing on a bunch of grenades. I'm sorry. I'm trying to flank me. That's one. Flood with a rocket. 
That was one. I need to take that other one out. So one of you guys had a pistol. I am not going to try to go head to head. Get enough, can you? Oh no. Alright, I know there was another rocket, but it probably got flung off the bridge. Double bridges, so now we need to make our way to the elevator. Screw it. I am not waiting around here longer than I have to. Oh, pfft. Just when I thought you'd be able to get away easily. There's only a handful of glitches which are useful in this game. This just happens to be one of them. There. So we're on the ground floor again, and we've got contact. The sole purpose of these guys is to drain ammo. Or at least they get frag grenades. reached the ground floor, getting ready to proceed outside. This makes for a pretty good stopping point if I've ever seen one, so I'll go ahead and cut it here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, stand by for more. Falcon out.